first, we catch up on some semi-final fixtures in the Impala Floodlits Rugby Tournament. Apart from the nail-watering rugby action, the tournament presented the coaches with a chance to test out their teams with the new Kenya Cup season around the corner. The first semi-finals clash saw KCB Rugby take on top Rai Nakuru. And going by their previous encounters, it was bound to be a tough battle, especially among the forwards. There are two factors that came in play. We had uh, complacency got into the team because uh, from the first half, go, uh, going by our scores, the players as assumed they've already won the game, which is a very bad thing. And secondly, playing a good side like Nakuru, they also have uh, they are also technical and kind of have a, have a habit of getting back. So it's never over until it's over. KCB kicked off with an amazing start, going 18 points clear in the first half. Complacency would, however, creep in, allowing Nakuru back in the game. But the Lions took back control of the match as it played out to a final score of 28-26, the two points margin granting the Lions the first final slot on offer. I think we just slept somewhere in the game and I think Nakuru came back and pushed, it, pushed us very hard. Uh, it's just something that we, we knew we could do as players, we played very hard. We knew we came here for a win and we worked to our head until we got that win. We've had to dig deep last weekend playing on boys, we've had to dig deep again and uh, survive a scare. Uh, uh, Nakuru getting back to the game, coming back. So next weekend uh, we'll really have to, to keep up the concentration and avoid complacency in the camp. The Kenya Cup is looking great if we get it, uh, if we get the Lenos right. And it's everything, every every facet is looking amazing. The scrums, the uh, uh, racks, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, actually, we, we have a, a set of some good young players coming in, in the team. And, uh, you know, they're the ones, uh, they're the ones who, who started with them. And, yeah, the senior players came in, that's why the change came. Yeah, sure, and uh, sure. actually for now we're going to deal with the jailing, the main team and the new guys in the team. And uh, working towards the Kenya Cup side, I think it will be more synchronized and you know, perfect. Yeah. Up next was the day's main event, the Ngong Road Derby, pitching the Resolution Impala Sarasens against the Kenya Harlequin. A tough battle that would see both sides tied at 3-3 at the close of the first half. We, we expected uh, we expected the derby to be tough, and sure it was. You know it was tight to the end. Uh, we just didn't take our chances, like the last uh, penalty we had on the five. Um, uh, if, if we if we did if we worked on the if we took the line out and probably mold it in, it will be a different conversation now. The second half would see a much increased tempo as the sides exchange. A man of the match performance and a last minute goal kick from Quinto Ongo would send the Saracens to the finals with a full time score of 13 11. Uh, basically, I give it back to my teammates who made it for me. Basically, we, we did a lot of preparation over the week, so I think to me it showed up. Uh, basically, at some point we were down, but we managed to pull ourselves back then. We managed to win the game, so basically may I give it back to the, to the team. There's a lot of positives to carry from this match. It's a, there's a lot of young boys playing on this side, and it's a new, it's a new strategy we're using, a new system we're playing. And um, I think we lost well, and we'll always take um, in the spirit of the game, and we'll take a good loss any day. Focus now shifts to the finals week, as the Saracens once again look to square it out with the Lions for the Impala Floodlits 2016 trophy. I think we just need to concentrate the ball more and it's, it's a final, anybody can win a final. The best team that will wake up that day will play hard and get the final. Uh, basically, it's not really a tough match because uh, we've played KCB before and we've won. So basically, we'll just stick to our system, then everything will go well. <laughs>